Hi everyone, uh, today we're going to be looking at um, an S3 from the CCC from the Waterloo competitions. This is called Absolutely Acidic and it's from 2012. So let's go ahead and look at it. I'm going to go ahead and run this and I'll explain why I'm running it so quickly. Um, so essentially uh, the first thing I want to show you is that there's actually five files in here and um, the first three are reasonable. There's uh, like 300, 15,000, 10. But file four and file five have over two million, so I'm running it. I'm running it right now because it's gonna take like 10, 15 minutes, and I'll speed this up. It's gonna take like 10, 15 minutes for the files to actually um, go through. So I'm gonna have to restart it now because that's how Playground works. So uh, that's the three files, and this is gonna go up to four million to kind of uh, read the files. So um, this thing right here is my little function to take the files that I just showed you and kind of convert them to arrays that we could use. So let's go ahead and look at this uh, question real quick and I'll show you how I solved it. Um, essentially uh, you're gathering some data, uh, there's n sensors that's anywhere from 2 to 2 million and each sensor gives you uh, a number, a, a data point from anywhere from 1 to 1000. Um, so essentially the purpose of your uh, the purpose of your research is you'd like to know the frequency of each reading find the absolute difference between the two most frequent readings so right there we know we have to find the most common and the second most common and this is still running the the, the common and uh, the, the most common the second most common reading um, however there are tiebreaker rules um, but let me let me go through everything else first and then I'll show you what the tiebreaker rules are the first line of input is going to be um, a number from 2 to 2 million telling you how many readings you have. And after that, every reading is going to be anywhere from 1 to 1,000. And the output, you're just going to output one integer. So you're going to output a positive integer representing the absolute difference between two of the most frequent occurring readings. Cool. Um, so let's have a look at it. So the tiebreaker. If there are more than two readings that have the highest frequency, the difference computed should be the largest. Uh, such absolute difference between two readings with this frequency. So if there's a reading that has, if, if it's a tie between the two, um, if, if there's a tie between the highest uh, two readings, what, what we need to do is we need to find the difference, okay, between them. Um, if there's only one reading with the largest frequency, but more than one reading with the second largest frequency, the difference computed should be the largest absolute difference between the most frequently occurring number, so that's the largest, and the, and and one of the second highest readings. Well, which one out of the second? Um, it says um, it says it has to be the uh, the the difference computer should be the largest absolute difference. So essentially, you have to look at um, what number, uh, uh, which frequency to read from your second highest to give you the largest absolute difference. And that's essentially it. So if we look at this, we've got five files here. And let me go through the code real quick to kind of show you what I'm doing here. But essentially, the vast majority of the code, guys, is to figure out what is the uh, most common and what is the second most common. So I have a function here called most common, and you could guess what this is. I'm not going to go through every line. Um, you could kind of go through it. But essentially, by the end of this function right here, I'm returning two things, most common and second most common. And uh, this right here, I'm returning a tuple, okay? So a tuple is going to say, listen, this is this is the element that's the uh, most common and this is the element that's the second most common and um, and that's what I'm doing here. So that's my first function. The other, uh, the, the second function that I have is a, um, a function that says final answer. And essentially, I take in some input and I, um, and I, um, um, I, I output it, uh, um, an integer. And essentially what I'm doing here is I'm taking the most common and the second most common array and I'm, and I'm putting in these elements here. I'm printing them here, by the way. So let's have a look. So in this case, in, in the very first file, I've got uh, element 3 was the most common with 8. And uh, element 2, uh, there was a tie, 6, 9, 7. Okay, great. And essentially I'm sorting them here. I'm sorting them, sorting them. And uh, that's essentially uh, that's essentially what I'm doing here. So pretty easy stuff. I'm just kind of taking the data from up here, and I'm sorting it. And this if statement does the comparison, to be honest. So 
um, this is where people have actually a hard time with it. So by the end of this, all of this, guys, all of this is line 49 to, it's lagging so bad, my, my computer, I could hear the fans going crazy. But anyways, um, all of this, line 40, whatever, to line 100, and to line 100, essentially is to find the most common and the second most common elements and putting them in a uh, in a um, an array right here what I'm doing is uh, oh and sorting them what I'm doing here is, is I'm saying listen if the sorted array of the most common element is greater than one then find the difference between the last and the first that will give me the greatest uh, difference why am I doing that because of this tiebreaker right here if there are more than two readings that have the highest frequency, the difference computer should be the largest such absolute difference between two of the readings, right? So if there is more than one reading in the highest, if there's more than one reading in the in the most common, then just find the difference between the first and the last because they're sorted. Um, I'm going to find the highest possible difference. However, else, if there, uh, if there is only one reading, if there is only one reading in the most highest, in the most common element array, then do another if statement. If the sorted uh, array, uh, most common first is greater than um, is greater than the first of the second most common, then do the following. Uh, look at the first uh, element of the most common and subtract it to, uh, f uh, from the first element of the second most common. Otherwise, take the first element from the most common and subtract it from the last. Now, why am I doing this? What is this all about? What I'm doing here is literally the second tiebreaker. So if you look at the second tiebreaker, so if there's only one frequency with the largest, uh, if there's only one reading with the largest frequency, but more than one reading of the second largest frequency, the difference computed should be the largest absolute difference. Well, how do I find out the largest absolute difference? So I'll give you an example and this is perfect so for um, for file 3 for file 3 guys there's a whole bunch of ties right uh, 3 is it's got 606 991 94 896 so it's got 2468 okay and the highest was 584 of 585 right four times so all these numbers got 3 and 585 got 4. So this is the highest, this is the second highest. So which one do I compare? Well, here's how you do it. So if I go up, and this thing is freezing because it's it's taking so long to kind of <laughs> run through all of this. Um, and I'm recording the screen, so my computer is going crazy right now. If you look at this, what I'm doing here is I'm saying, listen, look at the most, uh, the most common. Th again, remember, this is all sorted. Look at the most common. I'm not printing it sorted here, by the way, so that's why it might look confusing to you, but right here it's sorted. So look at the most common, look at the first. If the first is greater than the first of the second most common, then what that tells us is, is the greatest difference that we're going to find since the first of the most common is greater than the first of the second most common, um, all you have to do is literally subtract uh, the first from the first. Why? Because if the first is greater if the first and the most common is greater than the first and the, and the second most common, that means um, the greatest difference we're going to find is in the first element of the second most common because that's the smallest. But for some reason, if the most common element is actually smaller than you know the the, the first element uh, of the of the second most common, then take the last because the last that's where we're going to find the difference. Okay, the largest difference. You're going to see a difference in all of them, but we want the largest difference. That's what they're asking us. So if we go down here, we've got four answers. And the reason we don't have the fifth is because it should still be running, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's at 6.3 million. It'll eventually reach 8 million, and it'll give us the answer. But the answer for the first file is 2, then 491, then 69, then 497. I'm going to speed up this part, and I'll show you what the... Uh, final answer is um, once it's done. Okay, so this is done and our last answer should be uh, 85. And by the way, if you see negatives here and you're like, oh, how are you not getting the negative? It's because I'm running it through this um, simple function called ABS, which gives you the absolute value. 
So that's pretty much it. Um, I'll have the code uh, up there, or rather, I'll I'll do one last run. So if you want to see the code, feel free to see it right here. Um, and that's pretty my uh, that's pretty much my solution. Probably not the most efficient, but it does the job. All right. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.